<sighs> well, SpongeBob and Patrick, you didn't have to say goodbye to your homes in this episode, but I had to say goodbye to the original SpongeBob wall I would do my reviews for because I figured it was time that I went ahead and moved to a different wall in my room. <laughs> A lot of good times with this part. What used to be the original wall uh, for three years since 2013, but now I figured it was time to move to a new wall. In fact, let me go ahead and show you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is now the new wall I'm gonna be using to review SpongeBob. Everything's still the same in terms of posters and the stickers, but it is a new wall. It's now time to move forward and review Sold. Everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review the SpongeBob episode Sold. So, Sold is about when Patrick sees a commercial of this man that buys houses, but Patrick thinks that once he says Sold on TV, that his rock, his house, it's been taken even though it's not. And so then Patrick sees over with SpongeBob that SpongeBob sees that same commercial. And so SpongeBob and Patrick think that they're homeless. So they now live in the back of the Krusty Krab and Squidward is very ecstatic about this because he doesn't have to worry about SpongeBob and Patrick living next door to him. However, things take a huge turn for Squidward where he has to pretend there are owners of SpongeBob's house and Patrick's house in order for them to stay away from their homes. And I have to say, this was just an okay episode. It's not really the best way to end the week of SpongeBob episodes from May 2nd to May 6th. It's really not the strongest way to end the week, but it's not exactly a terrible way either. It's definitely better than the fishbowl and Married to Money, in my opinion. I know a lot of people actually really enjoyed the episode. I just wasn't a fan of Married to Money. But it's just not as good as, say, Copy Bob, Ditto Pants, or Sharks vs. Pods, in my opinion. It's a fun episode, but not something I would really watch again. It's not really something I'm going to remember. However, what I did like about the episode is the fact that, well, of course, the whole thing with Patrick seeing this commercial and thinking his house was sold, that was funny. And SpongeBob thinking his house was sold, that was pretty funny as well, and there's also a couple of other gags. And then Squidward, you know, right, being all happy to the Krusty Krab because SpongeBob and Patrick no longer live with him. That was pretty cool. And there was a bit, I would say, in the last few minutes of this episode where Squidward had to pretend there were owners at SpongeBob and Patrick's home so SpongeBob and Patrick don't have to go back into the neighborhood. I thought the episode did have some pretty decent writing to it. Not the writing, I would say, overall. It's not anything spectacular or good for that matter, but it's decent. It keeps the overall flow of the episode going. As far as cons go, I do think the concept, like just the overall concept of the episode really is unneeded. I don't think this episode really needed to be made. I just didn't think the whole thing with the house, you know, as fun as it was in the beginning with Patrick's reaction and SpongeBob's reaction, it was funny, but then after a while, they just seemed to drag on with the con Concept and it doesn't really become as funny. Then towards the end when Squitter has to pretend that he is the owner of Spongebob's home and then Patrick's home, like he's going back and forth. That started out funny, but then just like with any gag they try to attempt in this episode, it just starts to really lose its steam very quick. And as entertained as I was, it's definitely not a boring episode. I was entertained from start to finish, but as entertained as I was, I just couldn't help but feel 
how unnecessary it was for this episode to get made, to be honest, and not really much sticks out with me when it comes to this episode. Other than some funny moments, there are some funny bits in the episode. Writing overall is fairly well done. It was an okay Spongebob episode in my opinion and entertained me. It was harmless entertainment. Just nothing all that special or memorable in my opinion. So overall, I'm gonna give Sold a 6.5 out of 10. I do think it's an okay episode. I was entertained. I did have fun with it. I just don't think the overall concept of the episode should have been made. And the ending I did think was predictable as hell. You know where the ending was going. So in the comments down below, let me know what you think about the episode sold and how would you rank all of the five SpongeBob episodes from the week of May 2nd to May 6th, 2016. My ranking would be Sharks vs. Pods, Hoppy Bob Diddle Pants, then I would say Sold, then I would say The Fishbowl, and then I would say Married to Money. So my worst of the week is Married to Money, my best of the week is Sharks vs. Pods. So you guys, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!